Hey there, car enthusiast. I'm doing something a little different today. I'll be sharing some tips and tricks on how I store my car for the winter months. So let's drive right in. First thing I do is give it a thorough wash. You want to protect the paint from any possible contaminants. Also clean the interior. That'll prevent any mold, mildew, or funny smells forming during storage. Next, it's important to find the right storage location for your car. Ideally, you want to store it in a garage or a climate-controlled storage facility to prevent it from extreme temperatures and moisture. The best thing you can do is keep it at a constant or near constant temperature. Temperature change, especially through the dew point, will cause condensation. Don't forget about the battery. I don't disconnect it, but I keep a tender on it to keep it charged throughout the storage period. As you can see, my battery is in the trunk. I run the cable from the battery to a nearby outlet. Next, I like to put something between the tires and the concrete. Parking for three or four months probably won't hurt the tires, but I like to park on a rug. I also like to keep them at the recommended tire pressure. I've seen others overinflate their tires to prevent flat spots, but modern tires won't form flat spots unless subjected to sub-zero temperatures. Overinflating can possibly cause damage to the tires. The fuel. I like to add stabilizer to the gas tank to prevent fuel from deteriorating and causing issues with the engine. Be sure to run the engine for a few minutes once you pour it into the tank. This will circulate it through the lines and stabilize it through the fuel system. Don't worry about filling the tank to the top. I've seen people say you need to fill up your tank. Even when you fill up your tank, it's only 85% capacity. So there will always be air in it anyway. So don't worry about filling it all the way to the top. Don't start your car. There's no need to start the car while in storage. Some people like to start it occasionally, let it warm up, and shut it back down again. Cold starting causes the most damage to the engine. Therefore, you don't want to be cold starting the car unless you're going to be driving it. Also, you're taking the chance of creating condensation because the temperature changes from warming it up and then cooling back down. Last but not least, car covers. I do not like car covers. Yeah, the car will get a little dusty, but you just rinse it off and wash it and it's fine. If the car is outdoors, the wind is going to move that car cover around and you're taking a chance on scuffing the paint. That's it. That's all I do. And I've never had any problems with my car. So if you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.